Well, hello, my loves, and happy Sunday to you. I'm so glad that you are here. Um, and so today is all about grungy goodness. I think so. It's fairly grungy, um, which always makes my heart happy. And it actually worked out really well because with the new stencils, I kind of designed them kind of graphic and grungy. And then um, I'm, I've also got a new workshop coming out today. Um, that is available today at early bird pricing called gratifying grunge. So it all worked out really well. Um, I didn't actually plan it that way. So yay. Um, but so gratifying grunge is available now and it's 12 grungy techniques, um, four projects and lots of yummy grungy goodness that makes my heart happy. Um, so I had so much fun with this workshop. It's all the, this kind of workshop workshop is my favorite. <clears throat> Just getting in there and experimenting and create creating with relatively simple supplies and creating all kinds of goodness that we use in our projects. So you can check that out. I'll have the links for that down below. Um, the supplies that I use in today's video will also, there'll be a link for you to check out the supplies and the new stencils that I have been using all week. If you haven't watched the three other videos, um, or even last Sunday's video, um, I'm using all the new stencils this week. And um, so I did, I did um, a gel printing session. I show you my setup and then I do a couple of journal pages last week, um, some with some of those gel papers. And then I'm gonna be using some of the jelly print papers. That's really hard to say. <laughs> gel print papers in today's project as well, um, along with a couple of the stencils because I love them. And let's see, what else do I have to tell you? I don't think I have anything else to tell you. So let's take a look at where I'm at and go over what I have done. So here's where I'm at. This is so yummy good. Oh, love it. <clears throat> okay, so what I have done so far is I'm working on 11 by 14 MDF board um, and the first thing I did was put down some papers and they were basically leftovers that I had pulled for, from my jelly printing session and then some additional scraps off my desk. I put them down, but really what I was looking for was something neutral. I wanted them to be relatively neutral with some small pattern that would peek through because I knew that I was going to be laying some grungy goodness on here. Um, I put my papers down with matte gel <clears throat> and then I came back and I used the Urban Words stencil to stencil on in, in kind of real specific spots. I didn't use the whole stencil, I used just little bits of it. And that's what I like about that one. You can use it all or just little bits. Um, so I stenciled on with that. I actually brushed it on because I wanted it to be messy. Then I came back and I put down some Nova Color Payne's Gray and some Pebeo Matte Pub in Ivory and brayered that out and made this mess. I just wanted it to be messy. I didn't want it to be nice and smooth and pretty, no. And then once I brayered it out, I came back and sprayed it with some water and picked up with um, just copy paper. Continued to pick up um, the paint with copy paper. And I love doing that, one, because it makes this real soft and grungy, speckly kind of look, and I get great collage papers at doing that. Then I came back and I um, used my Nova Color texture paste and my grungy door stencil and stenciled in my door and then used a palette knife and kind of extended that out real roughly because I want to kind of integrate that into the rest of the grungy wall back here. Um, kind of extended that out a little bit. So at this point <clears throat> now I am of course going to put some an umber wash on here kind of you know integrate all of this. I don't know exactly all of the goodness that I'll be putting on here to create this wall. I'm I'm probably going to add a few of my yummy um, gel prints because they are transparent. 
but I'm not sure yet because I really like the way this looks and I you know my, the, my hardest thing is to say stop don't include all of the things Sean <laughs> even though you love them I mean this paper is so grungy good um, and then then this down here I'm going to make into steps um, and I, I kind of want this down here to be something different, something special. I'm still kind of working through it because I'm working through the meaning of this piece too. Um, so that's kind of where I am at at this point. So um, I'm going to continue to do my next layers and then we'll come back and talk through that and we'll talk through the meaning. I'll have some time to kind of percolate. I've got my journal out here and I've been going back and forth over what I've written this week and I'm really trying to take it in and really trying to um, infuse that into this piece. That's why there's a couple of spots in there that I really want it to represent something and I'm not exactly sure how to get there yet. So we will see. It'll come together. I know it, al it always does. Um, and even if it doesn't, the process is the most important part. All right, so I'm gonna continue on and then we'll come back.
All right, loves. Oh, the grungy goodness is happening. I'm so loving it. There was a moment where I thought, oh no, what have I done? But I brought it back and it's exactly how I wanted it. So um, you saw in the video how I put my layers down up here and then I added, I wanted these lines up here. They were part of my um, gel printing session. Um, but I wanted those lines as like telephone line, connecting lines, um, busy signal lines, all those kinds of things. Um, I wanted those represented and the it, it's on deli paper and the background was so dark that they really stood out. However, I went back over them with um, a mixture of ivory and raw umber and kind of covered them up and then let them dry and then came back with some alcohol and pulled everything back in all the right spots and yeah hummy just absolutely grungy goodness i mean and all the papers are showing through too all the stenciling it's all there i'm so happy just so happy um, and then i've started creating my stairs down here with some more of my gel printing papers and <clears throat> i still have some more to go and we will get to that in just a second um but so far i love of it um so down at the bottom let's see so down here um i think i'm going to put gold and i'm probably going to use my i thought about doing um gold leaf and i don't think i have enough to cover the bottom here or the sticky stuff but I, I'll, I'll see what happens. I might find another option. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but I want to put some gold down here. And I want to kind of make it distressed. So I think I'm going to lay um, a piece of deli paper over the top of it. I'm not sure yet. I've got to figure that out. I've got to work through that part. So I'm going to, that's, gold is going to be down here. Because this is the area that I want to get to. <laughs> the gold. The good stuff. Um, and these are the steps leading to away from the noise, away from all the things, all the chaos. Even though this is really good, grungy goodness, it's representing my story today. Um, and so I'm gonna do some shading with some soft pastels and some charcoal pencil and um, you know, get in all that and really define everything. But so, so very pleased with where we are. So um, check out the new workshop, um, Gratifying Grunge. The link will be down below. All the supplies, the link to the supplies will be down below as well. Um, so let's talk about the meaning of this piece really quick before I finish. So this last week, it's, my story really never changes. Some, I, I always think that it does. It kind of calms down and then I'm just, I'm just busy. And that's really kind of my personality. Um, and I work on it all the time. And I know if you've been around here in this space, you know that and how I struggle with that um, perfection part of me and just the doing. Um, where I, you know, I've shared before that in the doing, I get a worth and I get value. And I feel like I'm seen and different things like that. So it's always, always work. You know, I've been... And I've shared before that I have spent lots and lots of years in therapy to work through all of those things. And I know that about me. And um, so that's half the battle, is knowing yourself. And the other part is really um, recognizing when you got to call a timeout on yourself. <laughs> um, and so this last week, I, this is what I wrote. Um, this is my quote. Um, and what I was feeling, and I'm just going to share it with you. I wasn't going to because it feels really vulnerable. <laughs> but um, I know every time I share something that's really vulnerable, it always touches somebody. So it's worth it. Um, but I wrote, when you feel like everything is too much, which sometimes it, sometimes it, for a couple of years, it felt like everything was too much, right? But, you know, we've kind of come back to some normalcy, I suppose, but um, just in my own mind. But when, when you feel like everything's too much, learn to quiet the noise. So that's why this piece will be titled Quiet the Noise. Um, 
the city noise, the to-do and deadline noise, all the social media noise, and especially the noise and negativity in your head. This is my message to myself. This is the stuff that I write out so I can work on it. This is the stuff that I pray about. This is the stuff that I, you know, when I'm, when I, you know, I do meditations about. Um, this is the stuff that is my work to um, be better. Um, but, um, and especially, so I'll go back to, and especially the noise and the negativity in your head. Take a deep breath. And remember, you can do all the things. And sometimes it's okay to say no, right? It's so hard. It's so hard for me anyway. And even when you don't get everything done, because I always have a to-do list, and you choose to take care of yourself. So even though I didn't get all the things done on my to-do list, and instead I chose to take care of myself. Something I struggle with all the time. But I work on it every single day. Um, you are still good. You are still worthy. Still growing. And you are loved. That is a constant message to myself. And I hope that in me sharing that kind of intimate part of my journal, that it might touch something for you. Because I know in, in, all, in our world, it's just a go, go, go kind of thing. And sometimes it's okay to just turn off the noise. I, I sat for several hours yesterday in my jammies <laughs> under a blanket doing nothing. It felt very strange and it was so very needed. So even though we don't get the things done, even though we haven't done the to-do list and we choose to take care of ourselves and we shut out the noise, we are still worthy. We are still good and we are still loved, right? Say it over and over and over. There, there was a time where I had this very piece, not, not the same, but pretty much the same because this has been a mantra for me for, for my whole life. Um, I had it on my bathroom mirror so that I could remind myself. That's when I was really new into therapy and really trying to figure out my path um, I had it on my mirror so I could see it every single day. You, no matter what you do, no matter what you do, whether you get the things done, whether you don't, what, whatever it is, whatever situation, no matter what you do, you still are worthy and good and growing and learning and you are loved. That's why I say it every single day week because we don't hear it enough and if we do hear it we don't believe it so I say it to you and I say it to me <laughs> for me too um, so I'm gonna read that again <clears throat> and even when you don't get everything done and you choose to take care of yourself you are still good you are still worthy still growing and you are so very loved. All right, my friends, I'm going to finish this up and um, I hope you enjoyed the, the project and um, I hope you have a wonderful week. I'll talk to you soon.